Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here's the accomplished, decorated kickboxer, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Twice he has challenged for UFC gold, came up short against Tyron Woodley. But at any given time, DC, this man is one win away from another shot at the goal. Yes, because you can put on those types of performances where the fans and everybody starts screaming, wait, what about Wonderboy? What about Wonderboy? And it does not seem as though Stephen Thompson has you in danger. But every time you're in there with him, you're constantly under the rest because one mistake can be the end of your night. You watch one of the boys slide out of position very, very subtly as guys try and attack him. And the moment you're out of position, Steven is countering and finishing the fight. A phenomenal striker, a great fighter is the one. And a true martial artist who, not unlike yourself, is giving back to the sport, runs the children's karate program at Upstate Karate there in Simpsonville, South Carolina. And they are all watching their man here tonight as he tries to produce on the biggest of stages. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go Ladies inside the octagon of Bruce is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a karate fighter holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. And going for the leg kick, he does not connect. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees for the blow. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. 
So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Stephen Thompson. Oh, straight right. And they separate. Nice kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice punch, man. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Punch is blocked. Such a fast oh. leg kick. He's mixing up his targets. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Wow! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big left hook there. Thompson's kick, that one blocked. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Pretty good right hand. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, Father Ray liked that one. A beautiful land there by Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Let's see if he can close the distance now, DC, and follow it up. Right hand punch from the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big punch lands to the middle. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round. Oh! Oh! He seems to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Stuff the takedown, no problem. Continuing to work the body to great effect. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, single collar tie. Oh, here. oh what a shot to the body. He's not out yet. He's trying to keep the hook face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Seconds left. Oh, collar tie. 
Again, going back to the jab just out of range. The elbow right on the back. It was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see his opponent reacting violently from that punch. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Whoa! Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Game of inches right there. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Up. The question is for how long? All right, single collar tie now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice head kick. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And both guys really throwing with authority. Final 10 seconds of the fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we'd be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.